Hey, Dr. B here again. In this part two of Z-scores and percentiles, I'm going to show you how to use column C and give you a couple examples of when we're going to want to use column C in our Z-score table instead of column B. So in the last episode, I introduced this table to you and we talked about how the Z-scores are in what I call column A and column B has this portion between the mean and whatever z-score you're looking up and column C has this region beyond the z-score that you're looking up. So that's what I want to show you here. So the first example, yeah, let's just borrow the last example. We were talking about an IQ score of 110 which in our population was maybe about here. All right we were asking questions about what percentile is at or below, right, in the last example. And we used column B to help answer that question, all right? Well, an another kind of question you could ask, instead of asking what percent is at or below, you could ask what percentage of the population is at or above. As you saw over here, column C is, well, that piece. For that kind of question, what percentage of the population could be expected to have an IQ of 110 or greater? We're asking about this chunk right here. And if that was our original question, we would do it the same way. We would first have figured out what Z-score this was. And we already did this, but to get the Z-score, we took that, we subtracted the population mean of 100 and divided by the standard deviation of 15. Well, 10 divided by 15 was a z-score equal to 0 0.67, right? We went to the z-score table and we found 0 0.67 there, looked up column B piece, and added it to the bottom 50%, and we got our answer that way. But we could also do this to you know, answer, ask the question about what percent is at or above 110. So we would use the value that's in column C to answer the question here. So that value, to make it bigger so you can actually read it, was 0 0.25142. And my question is, in, not in pro the answer I want is not a proportion, but I want to convert that to a percent. So we multiply that by 100, move the decimal place two places over, and that becomes 25. Point I'll round it to just two decimal places, 25.14%, and that would be the answer. So we wouldn't have to add or subtract that or anything like that. That is this portion right here, the percentage of the population that is at or above 110. So 24.14% of the population can be expected to have an IQ of 110 or greater. So that's one example where we would want to use column C. The other example where we'd want to use column C is when we have a question that is anywhere in this bottom half of the distribution. So let me clean this up and give you an example. So let's say that we want to know uh, what percentile is an IQ score of, let's say, 88. All right, so if you got an 88 on an IQ test, or somebody got an 88 on an IQ test, because I don't think you would be able to do this if you had an 88 on your IQ test. Uh, so if somebody gets an 88 on an IQ test, uh, what percentile are they in? So what does that look like again? All right, so the population mean is 100, and now I'm asking about some score down here, 88. Okay, and I want to know what percent is at or below. Okay, and hopefully you're beginning to see how this is a column C kind of question here, all right? I just simply want to know what's in column C there. So I need to convert 88 to a, a z-score so I can look it up in the table. So 88 minus a population mean of 100 divided by the standard deviation of 15 is equal to negative 12 divided by 15, right? And negative 12 divided by 15 is equal to a negative 0 0.80. So that's my z-score. And 
I will just look that up in column C. Let's go back to the table here. I'm looking for a z-score of 0.8. And this time, I again want to use column C. So 0.2186 is the number. I'm already converting that to a, oops, to a percent. 21.86%. I hope you can see how I did that. I just um, skipped a step, all right? The p-value was equal to 0 0.2186 something. I rounded it to four decimal places. And I multiply that by 100, move it two decimal places over, so that's 21.86%. If someone scores an 88 on my Q test, they are in the 21.86th percentile. 21.86% of the population could be expected to have an IQ of 88 or less. So there's a couple of examples of where you would want to use column C instead of column B. All right? You need to try these out with a few other examples of your own. Try some of the examples that are in the text, and it uh, shouldn't be any problem. Taking C scores to percentiles. Okay? See you next time!